Well, good morning and thank you for tuning in. I trust that you will have a wonderful day today. I want to start off by asking the question, who is your number one? You see, if we go to the book of Matthew 6, verse 33, it's very clear that Jesus must be our number one because he himself says that seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. You see, the problem is so many people are so caught up in all of the other things the next best thing go bigger go better a new house a better house a better car and all that is good and God wants to give us the best but the problem is when the bigger and the better becomes bigger and better than God then there is a serious problem we need to make sure as followers of Christ that the number one remains the number one and Jesus should be our number one priority in everything that we do Proverbs 3 verse 6 says that acknowledge me in all your ways and your paths shall be directed you see the problem is a lot of times we get upset with God if things doesn't go our way but then we need to ask the question that we really acknowledge God in the decisions that we made and so when we acknowledge him in all our ways what does god's word say he will direct our paths and so um, i want to encourage you this morning make jesus your number one make him your priority put him before everything else you do and so with that in mind let us acknowledge him let us seek his face let us pray together let us close our eyes Father God, we want to come together and we want to pray and we want to seek your face. Jesus, it shines like the sun and yes, we are facing a lot of darkness these days. And Lord, we want to make sure that you are our number one and we want to acknowledge you in everything that we do. And we say thank you, Lord, that as we do that, that you will direct our paths today. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in and may you have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Amen.